here we got a wool rug cleaning. You can see it's soiled. Um, I don't know if it comes on camera, it looks dirtier in person, but a lot of that um, is just where this people walk from the hallway to here. So we're cut through to go outside or go to the living room. This is the dining room, but this is a wool rug. We're gonna be using the Auric Orbiter and the Rug Restore. And that's a wool safe neutral product. Um, one thing for people that don't know, and for the most part, you can always check, but you can see what kind of rug it is. Usually a label, if there's not a label, um, you can, you know, I, I've been doing this a while, so I know what, what kind of rugs they are. But one thing about these wool rugs, you see it's 100% wool. Um, they shed, so you see that. You know, they, they shed a lot and, um, you know, they have a natural look to them where the, the, the um, synthetic ones, you know, they're essentially kind of like a plastic synthetic material. Um, they're not going to be as soft as this unless it's like in one of those mohawk old, old fin rugs. But um, if they look something like this, 90% of the time it's probably a wool rug. It could be polyester, but um, you'll get a feel for it once you um, start doing a lot of rugs. You'll be able to look and tell. You could always do a burn test. I don't do that. I, I can pretty much tell. And if I and if I'm wrong, and if I think it's a wool rug, if I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna treat it as if it's wool. Um, for ones that could be like a polyester, that's kind of um, can be hard to tell. For the most part, I can tell. But anyways, there are some stains here. That looks like it's like a. I don't know, could be food stain, a pet stain, or a gum, I'm not sure. But we'll treat it and I'll keep you posted. So usually I like to use the rotary on wool, but um, now that I have the uh, glider, this is from Carpet Muscle TV, it'll reduce the friction on the wool, and that's what I'll be using. And uh, I thought about doing like a little pre-scrub to work in the um, to work in the pre-spray into the wool fibers with the two-way bonnet. Not sure if I'll do that, but I might. That's always an option. But um, definitely be uh, absorbing with the uh, microfiber and. Uh, it's a good thing I have this. I don't have to bring in the heavy rotary to do these these um, rugs here. But um, you can see they're in need of a good vacuuming, so we'll vacuum first. I'm not sure if I'll show the vacuuming. Uh, I know a lot of people like it, but uh, I just don't like filming it. But um, I'll see if I have time. Uh, but we'll see. And I'll keep you posted. Stay tuned. So I'll be vacuuming with this. Um, I like the Shark vacuums. Um, they're CRI approved. And um, they're safe on all types of carpet, including wool. So I'll use this. Uh, you can see it's empty in there. And um, we'll see what we get out. I'll keep you posted. And you can see it's not too dirty, but you can see it's about half full with dry soil. So it's good to do a good pre-vacuum. And another thing is this carpet right here is a good candidate for VLM. Um, the reason why I say that, there's no urine stains, there's nothing, the, there's no odor. 
Um, it's not completely trashed. Um, usually with the wool rugs, if they're completely trashed, I don't do them. Uh, I just feel the wash pit is the best way to clean them when they're completely trashed. Synthetic is a different story, um, especially when you're dealing like a polypropylene. Obviously, you don't need to send them out to a wash pit. Do them. You could do them HWE or VLM. Um, and I will say, people will say, well, HWE will take care. No, it won't. It doesn't. Uh, HWE is still uh, surface cleaning. Just like, uh, just like um, VLM, it's the same surface cleaning. You, you might, the water, I guess, does reach the pad. And I guess if you were going to HWE this, it could reach the wood floor. That's not what we're trying to do. Um, you know, you need a good subsurface cleaning, like uh, uh, Dave Mavilio, he has good videos on subsurface cleanings with uh, wool rugs, so, or you need to take it to a wash pit. But um, we're gonna do VLM, and it's gonna look great, and the carpets will be popping when I'm done. And we'll get rid of some of those spots there safely without any uh, color bleeding or anything like that or bleach spots. We're using a neutral product, we'll safe product and stay tuned. Pet spot is gone. We got rid of that. Now, what I always say is the two-way bonnets clean very good. Um, and look, look at the dirt. This is where the um, the CD, I mean the uh, glider was. And now look, there's no denying how well the two-way bonnet works. People trash it and trash it. And, I've been ridiculed to no end when I use the two-way bonnets on the rugs or carpets, but there is a purpose for them. Take a look. Look at the soil transfer on a little bit of carpet. I mean, I've never seen this rug look so nice. Um, I'm actually pretty amazed. Um, with the results already. I haven't even absorbed with the microfiber yet, but I'm already amazed at how the rug looks. And you can see right there, just your standard two-way bonnet. And look how much soil it removed. So whenever you hear things in different groups and on YouTube and all that, pay little attention. You wanna look at the source, consider the source, and then look at other people's results if you, if you um, have any reservations or questions or, or you're just not sure about something, always do your research. But we're gonna go over with the microfiber and uh, I'll keep you posted. So I'll just do a little bit here, go over it. This is the worst area right here. This is where the traffic 
high traffic area right here, this corner. And you can see, I mean, this looks fantastic. And we're going to do a post vacuum on this as well. And here we're done. Did the post vacuum. It's almost dry. Um, looks fantastic. Uh, I think this rug restore is probably one of the best products I've ever used on wool. I mean, it looks fantastic. It's really popping and the wear that was over there, I mean, it's almost unnoticeable. Um, just looks really good and uh, I'm very impressed. So, again, I thank you for watching and take care.